Hi there and welcome. I'm Ira and as always very glad and happy to be here with a new lesson for you. In this lesson I want you to learn how to count from 1 to 10 in Ukrainian. You might think that this lesson is only for the beginners. Yes, it is. But still I hope that even an advanced learner will find something useful and practical in it. So, let's get started. Цифри, figures or numbers. Цифри. If you need one number, one figure, then it's A here instead of E. Цифра. Цифри in plural. Now let's start counting. Null. Null. And be careful to pronounce null correctly, as here we have a soft sign. Null. Null. Try with me. Null. L. L. Null. Null. Odin. Odin. Odin one. So here is that Odin we use when we count like Odin and then two, three. But if we have a noun we, which we use together with one, for example, one mother, one woman, one man, one child, then we change Odin according to the gender of our nouns. For example, for the masculine gender, we use Odin. Odin Cholovik, one man. Odin Sin, one son. Odin Budinok, one building, one house. Knock. Один чоловік, один син, один будинок. For the feminine gender nouns, we can't use один. We use одна. Одна. Одна машина. One car. Ма -ши Na. Одна жінка, one woman. Again, woman can be, a, a, I mean, жінка can be a woman or a wife. So, одна жінка, одна сестра. Стра. Добре. For the neuter gender nouns, we have одне. For example, you want to say one window. Одне вікно. Одне село. One village. Одне море. One sea. So again, один we use with nouns of the masculine gender. Одна with feminine gender and odne with neuter gender nouns. Please learn this and remember about this. Наступна цифра два. 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 Два we also change according to the genders of nouns. Два we use with nouns of masculine and neuter genders. For example, два будинки. Two buildings. Два будинки. So, будинок is one, but два is two, means we need plural, so we have to change будинок into plural, and then we get будинки. Два будинки. Два for neuter gender. For example, we have вікно. In plural, we change о to а. Два вікна. So again, два we use 
with nouns of the masculine and neuter gender. For example, again, not example, I already said my example, but just again, dva budinki, dva vikna. But with nouns of the feminine gender, we can't use dva. We say dvi. Please, please, please learn this. Dva, but with nouns of feminine gender. Here we have nouns of the feminine gender. In this lesson, we need to say dvi, but we need to change these nouns into plural. Dvi mašine, two cars. Dvi mašine. Dvi žinke, two women. Dvi žinke, dvi žinke. Dvi sestry, two sisters. So again, dva for masculine and neuter and dvi for feminine gender nouns. Okay, let's move to three. Tre, tre, three, tre, 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 and other, other numbers. We don't change according to the genders of nouns. Tre sestre, two, three sisters. Tre sestre, tre budinki, three buildings. Tre vikna, three windows. So we don't change. Only we change odin and dva. Четыре, четыре. Four, four, Наступне. Пять. Пять. Пять has an apostrophe. So what does an apostrophe do in Ukrainian? It divides the pronunciation of our word into two parts. П-ять. П-ять. Шість. Шість. Six. Шість. Сім. Сім. Вісім, вісім, дев'ять, дев'ять. Again, here we have an apostrophe, so we pronounce дев'ять, дев'ять. І десять, десять. Here we have the soft sign, so it's ть, десять, дев'ять, десять. Let's count again. Null, один, два, три, чотири, п'ять, шість, сім, вісім, дев'ять, десять. So that's it what I have for this topic today. If you have more questions, please ask them and write. I will try to help you. And see you very soon. And again, I want to ask you if you like this lesson, please like this video and subscribe for more lessons. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.